Okay, so we're going to take a look at problem number four. So this was the setup that we were going to continue where we left off in class. So for problem number four, they want us to find the voltage across number one, the voltage across number two, and the total voltage. So we have number one here because it shows you R1. So this is one, this is two, and our total voltage is going to be across the battery. So this is our total voltage. We don't know what the voltage is across the battery. But what we do know is that all the voltages add. So the voltage for one plus the voltage for two would give us the total. So what we're going to have to do is use V equals IR to solve. They give us the total current here as five amps. So that means each spot I1 and I2 are also going to be five amps because the current total is going to be the same at each individual place. So we have our problem here, V1 equals I1 times R1. We have I, we have R. We got I from the total current, which was five amps, which is the same as I1, and R1, which is five. So V1 equals five I, which is current, times R, which is resistance, so 5 times 5 gives us 25 volts, because the unit is going to be volts. Okay, for V2, V2, we are solving for this area right here. We know that V2 is equal to I2 times R2. Our R2 is given here as 15 ohms. I2 is 5 amps because it's the same as everywhere else. So we're going to solve. V2 is equal to I2, which is 5 amps times 15 ohms. 5 times 15. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 5 is 25. So 50 plus 25 gives us 75 volts. So here, V2 is 75 volts, okay? To find our last part, V1 plus V2 is equal to our total V, V2 total. So 25 volts plus 75 volts is equal to our total voltage. So if we rearrange it, VT, the total is 25 plus 75, which is 100. So you get 100 volts. 